In the fitness app, you can now change your daily move, exercise and stand goals to make it more agile to complete your rings, perhaps if you've got a day when you can't exercise as much as normal, or to push yourself further if you're going to the gym and you want to really try and up your limits. To change these goals, all you have to do is open the fitness app and then swipe down to where it says change goals. Now, this option isn't necessarily new, but you can change your overall move goal here for the whole week. So perhaps you want to do less calories for this week, you can simply change it here. But what is new in iOS 18 is the ability to put a custom goal for every single day of the week. And we can do this simply by pressing schedule in the top right corner. From here, you can change your move goal on a day by day basis. Perhaps you might want to decrease your move rings at the weekend. Maybe you're having a more relaxing couple of days off. But maybe the days you go to the gym, you want to up your move goal to push yourself that little bit harder when you're there. When you're done with these move goals, you can simply confirm at the bottom and then you can go and change the exercise goals on a day by day basis as well. I'll leave mine all at 30 minutes for now. And of course, you can choose day by day what you want your stand goal to be as well. You can even go higher than 12 hours if you've wanted to. When you do this and you go back to the fitness main screen, your goals and your rings will update accordingly and you can start working towards those new goals you set yourself on both your iPhone and your Apple Watch. And you can do other things with your rings in iOS 18 as well. For example, you can set a rest day which pauses them completely. To learn more about that and everything else that's new in iOS 18, you can check out the videos on my channel, or if you want to, you can download my new ebook, 100 Quick Tips for iOS 18. You'll find details of both in the description below.